Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude, and I'm back with another toy haul video. Today I just got back from dorm, and I saw that a package had arrived for me from Entertainment Earth, and it contained these four Camp Cretaceous um, figure packs. So we got Darius and the Gallimimus finally. I know this one came out a long while ago. Never in Canada, so um, I... I thought, hey, it's now or never, I should probably order them on Entertainment Earth. And it was out of stock for a while, and it looks like, I guess, they restocked and sent one out. Also, we've got Ben and Bumpy. This one was not a solitary um, purchase. <laughs> you couldn't get Ben and Bumpy on its own. Uh, you had to get it in a group of three with another set and Kenji with the Monoophosaurus. They did in fact have Kenji and Monoophosaurus on its own, um, which I might get another one of that because holy cow is that Monoophosaurus really cool. I mean, the coloration and the new head sculpt are some of my, my <laughs> sorry, some of my favorite parts of it. You can see it's got this like kind of ridge that sticks up a bit more into a point on the nose, whereas the uh, the normal, I guess, Monoophosaurus figures, previous ones that we got, do not have that spike. It's just rounded off at the top. And I think the neck's a bit more raised here with the spines. I'm not too sure. I'll have to compare that to uh, the other Monoophosaurus we have uh, in the review video that I'll be doing soon. Also, I love that, uh, that little, uh, what are the scooter? There we go. Scooter included. Nice. Oh, what the heck is up with Bumpy's eye? Look at that. What? Maybe that's just lighting. Okay, well, that's pretty sick. Um, Bumpy's cool. I think they made the head smaller and the tail longer. I think the body's also different, too. I'll show that off in the comparison video. Um... Yeah, that's just the lighting on there. The eye's really dark on the figure. Also, the colors on the legs don't match with the body. Whatever. Okay, anyways. I also got these Gujitsu um, figures when I was down in BC. Um, so I'm going to do a review on those. I thought, why not? They look pretty cool. Um, I found this at a flea market for actually $12. It says 15 on there. But I got it for 12 which is a steal, because this is usually 20 bucks here in Canada. Um, and I think at Walmart it's 16 or 17. I also stopped at the Lego store in the West Edmonton Mall and found this on sale. So I also picked it up. It's got some cool rotating pieces that I might uh, use for some of my Cambrian fossil builds. And then my mom actually got this uh, Sesame Street set. A very nostalgic piece. I grew up watching Sesame Street, and my mom absolutely loves it, so she um, got it from her friend who works at the Lego store, and it's really neat, very detailed build. I love the building itself. You can see they've added these little bricks all over and whatnot, so I think it's a really neat set, and I can't wait to see it built, um, and I decided, hey, why not include it in the video if I've got that Lego? Um, there's also these little dot things that were on sale for like two dollars and you can see in there it's all just one by one flat studs or not studs pieces they don't have studs on them I think those might I don't know so they're flat and the wedge shapes remind me of brachiopods so I'm going to use those in a Cambrian diorama as brachiopods there's also some other cool elements in there as well that might come in handy, who knows. So I bought four of those. So yeah, that's the, uh, the haul for the week. And I can't wait to dig into these figure sets. And one of these might be in my future giveaway, so stay tuned for that if you want to enter. And I'll see you all in the next video then. Bye-bye.